I want us to clap our hands to the Holy Ghost. Once again, on behalf of our pastors, Robert and Jessica Kayanja, you're welcome to the first day of the eighth week of the third phase of the 77 days of the world. You may be seated. Right now, we are going to hear testimonies the great things God is doing in the 77 days of glory. Amen. Amen. I'm going to request all of us who are giving testimonies for the interest of time. We are going to use only two, two minutes. Okay. Amen. Uh, my sister. Come here, Praise the Lord. Um, I thank God for the 77 days. Those are my names. I have come to testify unto God because of my she ran mad in 2007 after my mom had separated with my dad. So she was in that terrible situation. Now in 2014, we took her to Tavika Hospital and she began on the treatment. Although she was on the medication, she would still run nuts after like a month or two weeks. Now towards the end of 77 days, phase one, I brought her to this place. We prayed with her. And she went back to Mbale for Christmas. For the first time, Sister Afia celebrating Christmas in Gatari Mugowadalu. For the very first time, she celebrated Christmas while she was normal. And from the time of Christmas up to today, she has never run mad again. I give the glory, the honor, and the might back to God. He deserves the glory. Amen. Amen. Let me first speak to you. How are you doing? I'm Florence. I'm Florence. What are you Florence? I'm Florence. I'm Florence. Do you know the place where you are? Do you know the place where you are? Wow! Hallelujah! Give Jesus Christ a big hand clap. For the very first time, Christmas. she celebrated Christmas while she was in her mind. Amen. Let's give Jesus another hand clap. You may be seated. God is doing many testimonies. Many we have people with financial testimonies. Amen. Amen. So we are going to hear someone from one side. And then another about a financial testimonies. Amen. Amen. Amanya Gafe. Amanya Gafe and then Nachito Joyce, Mavira Masaka. Mazawa and Sande Bidi. I have been in this place for two weeks. Kakati, now Mazama Kamulama and Nunizi went single. But I've spent a single Roma with a neck pain. That's one of your nation Numa. So the moment I'll get a neck pain, I'll also get a headache and a skull pain. And my throat would also begin to hurt. I couldn't turn the neck. I was in great pain, but right now I can turn the neck, which I couldn't do before. As I turn the neck, I know I no longer feel the pain, and I know that I'm now healed. Uh, I came in this place because of three diseases, but so far the neck pain is already gone. 
And now I know that now from the time I've stepped on this power pit, all the other diseases are going to go. I also have a skin rush, skin itching, and but I know they are also going to go. But again, I testify to God because they are done that testimony. I've been to the hospitals, but my neck was stiff. I would feel throat pain whenever I could swallow. But now my skull is okay, my neck is okay, my head is okay. Amen. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Uh, we have another brother. Please come over. I pray that you stand where the light is so that you can see it properly. Oh, so Jesus. 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 I have been so sick here. I have been so sick here. I have been so sick here. I have been so when I was living in this place in the morning, when I was going back to the taxi, one of my big clients called me. Gave me a big contract. I thank God for that. I'm sorry to see. So he may bless me financially. He may bless the wash of my hand. I will never see poverty again. I will never see poverty again. My children will never see poverty again. My children will never see poverty Amen. Let's keep our hands to the Holy Ghost. Amen. My brother. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, um, I am a family. Yes, but Jesus saved me. Robert and Jessica Kayanja. I'm going to testify as I Robert and Jessica Kayanja for the work of the work of the the work of getting out getting us out from the devil's mouth I got saved in 2014 in the month of October but when I got saved I never followed the voice of the Holy Spirit because in me I knew that the moment I would decide I decided now when I got saved God helped me that I was able to go abroad. I went to Dubai. But before I left, I could read the Bible and I would see that the Bible couldn't allow me to go. But because of the situations that were surrounding me, I said, God, in this, I'm going to disobey you. Maybe I'm reading the word of the devil. So I decided to go. And God also left me and I left. I read a scripture that I will take you to. I read a scripture that I will take you to. If you do not remember that I'm the Lord your God, I would leave you there. But the moment you remember that I'm the Lord your God, then I'll bring you out of there. So when I went, when I reached abroad, that is where 
When I was still a Muslim, I would booze, but not so much. But the moment I reached Dubai, I would drink my entire salary, and I would even go into debt. I began to drink my entire salary. I would work for eight hours, and then the rest of the day, then I would do appointments with the girls. And some girls would even find me. And by that time, I wouldn't even remember that I was saying that I had a redeemer. So after the situation had grown worse, there was an Arabic man who was driving, gave me a list, a lift and the moment I entered the and I then I, I thought I was and then in my heart I said now Jesus I remember you when I was in the bed of sickness we made a vow that you will fight for me now if you do not fight for me now I will never listen and he came up to your name again I just don't know how this man changed his mind he opened his car and I was able to run out of the car then I will come out in Uganda and put it in bed and tell me. From that time, I came out to Uganda because I was so fed up. I came back in the morning. But still, I had a sinful faith because I didn't pregnant her. I was in Uganda. But I never told her that I was a born again. When I came back to Uganda, the doctors had consumed my money because I wanted to get more money. When I came back, I went to a certain church. They gave me some stuff. And when I went to see I that man, but still that so-called man of God wanted to use me in that dream. But I don't know how still God opened the door for me in that dream. So I moved out. That man told me I would die. And I told him I have a living Jesus. That is why I came to this church. And when I reached here in this place, I began crying without even knowing the reason why I was crying. So I said, God, God me. Me. Then I called the girl that had impregnated. And then I, I said, Holy Ghost, I'm going to tell this girl, inform her that I'm a born again from this very place. When I called her when to this place, place, when she reached her, I told her that she cried. She cried. But my reason so was to make her to come to the miracle, to the miracle land, land so that she can wange. be touched by the Holy Ghost. If not her, maybe my baby will be touched by the Holy Ghost. So I was told by Pastor Agnes Samba. She helped me. And at this particular Bible moment, I'm now in the Bible college. I'm now studying the Word of God. I'm so much on fire, I'm not afraid of my family. I'm not afraid of my family because I'm so much on fire. For a few days I've been in the Bible college to you, my brother, my sister, my family, you, the one who's boozy. I request you, I beg you, please come, come to the Bible college, study the word of God, God will bless you, let us be in the name of Jesus, let us be in the name of Jesus. So that in Taiwan and even the Muslim countries, we will know that we are not and we are no longer afraid of anything. Amen. Yes, so Amen. Give the Lord a big hand clap. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Boto gota na boba turi le burunji. Ninsi marohanga aburu na kuwedi zova. Mbeni na mnyano anje na pasta arubwa. I have a friend of mine. He's a pastor. He's in Lubwa. Yanye turu na kuwedi zova kwa sakuere za yom service. So he invited me to the service. Kuna amara kuere za. After ministering. Yansi gamu nsugu. Then he sowed a seed in me. After he had sowed that seed in me, I was left alone. When I was alone, I stayed and checked the seed that he had given me. 
And then I found out that the city had given me. It was that much. So I got a castle, so I would bring that it would bring me here. Then I felt the Holy Spirit telling me that that money is not yours. Then the Holy Spirit told me, take that money, go and give it as a seed so that they can publish the book of the Holy Spirit. I haven't taken a single coin from it, so I have brought all of it so I can sow it. Another thing, I also thank the Lord. Because of the ministry of Miracle Center. Because of the different crusades I've been doing. Uh, I've always been showing films in the different crusades, not films, the different miracles. So they gave me the different DVDs of the different crusades, so I began showing them to the people around. After showing these DVDs of the miracles, then I came, I went back to my place, Lukunjiri. And again, I began showing the same DVDs of the power of God. And then as I was showing them these DVDs, I told them whatever the man of God says you do, that is exactly what you should do. But now I thank God. Because so many shrines have been burnt down. And I, the thing that I couldn't do, I also showed the DVD of Dr. Yeko. Mbale crusade. Sorry. So as I was still showing them these DVDs of Dr. Yeko, the back pain. So at night as I was showing it. There came a man who had spent a full year mad. Again, I said, whatever the man of God says you do, that is what you should do. I also have him on my phone. I thank God because of that dignity. That man who was mad is now totally healed. Now I thank God because of the ministry of Miracle Center. I, uh, I came when I was single. But because of the anointing of God which is in this place, when I went back, because of that same that same anointing I began showing the DVDs but now I want to thank God because he did for me a powerful wedding now I thank God for that I also thank God because my wife also came to this place. But when we got married, she could not give birth. But then I showed a DVD of the Masaka Crusade. And the pastor said that if you believe for anything, you use money. And then he said, on earth we use money to buy stuff, but in heaven you cannot buy anything without faith. But remember, my wife had told me that I cannot marry her because she's barren. 
Because the man she had gotten married to before me had chased her out of the home because she couldn't give birth. But after showing the DVD of the man of God who was talking about faith, and then I say to my wife, the truth is I love you and you're supposed to give birth. She had been barren for 20 years. But God gave us a Samuel. Now our Samuel is one year and six months. Give the Lord a big hand clap. I thank God and also the man of God. Because from that time when he taught about faith, I also do as the Lord leads him. When I was born, I heard that he had brought a revival. I, I only heard it by ears. But now I want to thank God. And for the man of God. That he obey the Holy Spirit. That I've also gotten an opportunity to see the revival in my day in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm praying. 77 77 dogs of glory, number one and number two. I didn't come in 77 days, phase one and phase two. So now I'm begging for the DVDs of phase three. Because where we are, some people don't know and have power. Electricity. But I want to go with the DVDs of phase one and phase two so that people that side can know what is happening in this place. So that I can go into the deep villages of where I come from, show them what is happening, what the Lord is doing in our country, Uganda. Indeed, we shall come from that place and we shall come with global buses like two of them. I believe that in all those places people will get saved in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I thank God because of that. God bless you so much. Give the Holy Ghost a big hand clap. 20 years when the wife is buried. Just stand up and give the Holy Ghost a big hand clap. Even your unproductive situation, it is going to be productive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is in this place. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, brethren. Victory belongs to Jesus. I thank God. Those are my names. I thank God. I had my plot of land and it was on sale for four years. I have a friend of mine who tried to sell this very plot of mine. And, but just deceived someone and took a million shillings from them but by the time he brought the client had already sold the plot of land in second phase because it also had that house so when I saw that very plot of land I also built in Nansana in another house Victory belongs to Jesus. now I want to thank God because truly of Wanguziwa Yesu now that man who had been conned on a very plot of land, I talked to him, they tried to call the man who had conned him using my plot of land. He was conned, but the same man who, who conned, 
is always in this place. Now this man who was the client tried to inquire whether the plot of land was mine. So I told him the plot of land was mine. I sold it and we also made an agreement with the buyer. And the, I also showed him the agreement. Now I want to thank God and the Holy Ghost. I thank God and the Holy Ghost because of Pastor Kayanja, because of Pastor Jessica, for obeying the voice of God. Because for four years this plot of land has been on sale. But buyers would come, take a look, and just go and never come back. Some would come, try to give me money, but give me installments and I would reject the installments. But I came with that buyer from this very place in phase two. We went with that person and paid cash. I thank God for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Praise God. Praise the living God. I I thank the Holy Spirit today because he has done a lot of things in my life. I thank Pastor Kayanja. I thank Mama Jessica. Jessica. This church made me to know many things which I don't know. I came to this church. I always, I don't give tight. I give tight like 50, 10,000. Or 200. Or 200. Or 200. Or 200. Pastor Kayanja said that if you have faith that next week you will get one million, get up. I had a friend, she said, we met in this church, she told me we are twins. She walked up. She took me to get up, we are twins, you will get the one million. She took me to get up, we are twins. When I waked up, I picked the baby. Then we are just like 18. Then Pastor Sakayanja said that any money if you have, you can. Then in my heart, I said, eh, why am I getting one million? And then the other said that, no, you have Jesus. Then the other said that, no, you have Jesus. Then I said, I don't want to think about the one million. I touched the paper, I went home. I went here, I was like, the, the thing is making me like to think about where to get the million. And then I said, no, no, no. I, no, I, no, I, no. I went out in my compound and then I started praying. I went out in my compound and then I started praying. The prayers, Pastor, Pastor Jessica taught us I always now do it in the morning in my home. I always now do it in the morning in my home. I always now do it in the morning in my home. After praying, I went to sleep. When I I slept, at around eleven, I saw a message in my phone. They sent for me five hundred dollars. Ngavan sindi kide dollar bitano. When I saw the $500, when I closed my eyes in my bed, I knew that it was God. I saw young babies which are sitting like babies which have not started crawling sitting. Billions, billions of babies, all laughing, doing for me like this. I saw young babies which are sitting like babies which have I said, give me the Holy Spirit. I got up, I bathed very fast to collect the money. When I collected the money, the bank, they wanted their money. I gave the money, then I said, bring back. Then I said, no, let me remove the one million first to God. And then I said, God, this is your money. I fixed the money in the envelope. I fixed the money in the envelope. I fixed the money in the envelope. I reached here. I gave. The, I don't know. Something just woke to me when they said bring the seed. Something woke to me direct to Pastor Kayanja. Katsimani chichande. 
Musumba yaita ensigo natuka pake wali omusumba. When I gave the money, when I was sent, then she said, I'm seeing dollars. Nagama ndaba dola, ndaba dola. The next morning, enkera waro, my husband called me. Mwami wange na nkubile simu. He said, I've given your account to some company. They've given me work for one year. Nangamba account yonji na company jenji wa demu. Baku wa domu limo kumalo mwaka. They are going to put all the, my money all there. Sente zangezo na zona wakenda wabazisa kwa account yo. You go and check the account. Nagamba katigendo jukebedeko. I found the dollar started with the seven to, I was just glory. Nesanga nga dollar zitandika na... Number ye yomu samvu bili nga nyinje chiti wanchi diza katonda. That one million million ye ye mje nasiga broke everything in my family. Ya menya bulichimwe chali mufamile yange. One day I came here to confess about my sisters. Lumuna ja wanokuvako vye njogela kubaganda vange. The Holy Spirit visit my children at home. Na ya tomwe mtu kufnacha lila vana vange waka. He visit my children at home. The other one says is Jesus, that Jesus is talking. When they are watching channel 44, they say, I'm Jesus, Jesus is talking. Then the other one is, the other one is in senior five. He says, okay, okay, let, me, let me write down what Jesus said. When he touched the other one, this one fell down. She says he's God. The other one came also, she fainted. No walks to Tunaja where he gets a couple of people. That is the first thing since I've stayed for long. I've never seen that thing like this. I've never seen that I've never seen that thing like this. 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 I've never seen that just you don't lose faith. Whatever the Holy Spirit tells you to give, give. Because that is the breakthrough for your problems. Not only finance, all the problems. I just wanted to thank this church. And I, that I still always will give the seat to publish the book. And I, I pray that before this morning, I need to get a big car. Always, my children will come and pray here. I thank I'm a mother. I have four kids, but I have three kids. I have three kids. I have three kids. They are like twelve with mine. Sixteen. And I love their blessing to my home. Thank you. Be blessed like me in Jesus' name. My brother. Praise the Lord, brethren. I thank God for the good things he has done in my life. It was on the 14th Feb 2017. I had an operation on my intestines. After one and a half weeks. They got the stitches out of the tummy. But after removing the stitches, it bursts. And I had an open wound. Now from all those days, I couldn't even walk. I've always been lying down. Different pastors had tried praying for me because I've been an Adventist, but they had failed. Medicine had also failed me. But when I came in this place on a Thursday, 
44. I've always been watching channel 44. And I will see whatever is going on in this place. Then I receive the faith. All the money I've been receiving, they would just use it to pay for my medical bills. I, couldn't in my I come from Luelo Kasana. Those are my names, Kasaka Fred. Now, one of the brothers gave me 6,000 shillings. Now, by faith, I put it in my pocket and I went and bought it. And I came to this place with faith that I'm supposed to be healed. I must be healed. I came when I was bent, holding my intestines because they could fall out. Because the doctors had said that they had to do another operation. I disagreed with them. I refused to take the file. And then I say that God who heals. The God of Pastor Kanya who heals all the rest. He is also going to heal me. I came without anyone to help me out. I came without even informing anyone at home. They had taken me to another place, another church, but I ran out and no one knows even how I went out of the church. But when I arrived here on a Thursday, nine, pastor arrived at around midnight. But I was lying down because I was feeling very weak. As people were worshipping, I could just lift my hand by faith. But after having Holy Communion on Friday, after taking the bread and also the blood, I felt like a heavy stone on my back was being lifted. Then I felt that something that had been in my stomach had broken loose. Then I stood up. I began twisting as I was testing myself, doing whatever I couldn't do before. Yesterday I tried walking around on the campus. This wound would be dressed every after one day. But now I had these very things that they had put on the bandages for four days now. But they all just fell off. Some people got worried that maybe their intestines would also fall out. I never had money, but someone gave me 5,000. After they had taken some sick people on a patrol, I just went by myself holding that wound and it was redressed. Now I want to thank God because now at this particular moment I'm doing what I, what I couldn't do. Now I'm walking wow, very energetic. Wow, wow. Can Scott? Hallelujah. Show us how you were walking. I was very weak. I couldn't even take myself to the toilet. Someone would support me to go there. But I want to thank that Jesus who is in this place. I want to thank Jesus. The Jesus who brought light, the light of the world to this place, because the entire world is now watching this place. If this ministry was not in existence, I'd lost hope. My hope was gone. 
But now I have hope that even the remaining little pain today God is taking it away. Hallelujah. By the stripes of Jesus I've been healed. I can see that papers you're holding. I got these papers from Barra Hospital in Mbarara University Hospital. On these papers, that is where they are drawn that they are going to reoperate me because my condition was worse. I had an operation on 14th Feb 2017. I haven't been eating anything because of that sickness but I also began eating now I'm energetic you can even tell by the state I give the glory and the praises back to Jesus the one who has given me another portion of life so that I can come back to my normal Amen. I want us to give the Holy Ghost a big hand. I'll worship the Lord the remaining days of this my life. This is a very powerful testimony. I will serve the Lord all the rest of my life. Now I have got and saved with my entire heart. He has been an Adventist. Now I'll do whatsoever I can to build the work of the kingdom. God bless you so much. Amen. This is a very, very powerful testimony. I remember Pastor said when we were taking Holy Communion, he addressed all the sick people. That as we take Holy Communion, believe, stand up and walk after we take Holy Communion. Amen. Now I want them to stand up and give the Holy Ghost a big hand clap. This man was about to be reoperated. The intestines were already up. another operation on him. Give the Holy Ghost another hand clap. Amen. Yes, my sister. Praise the Lord, brethren. Those are my names. I come from Luzira. I want to thank God. I never had money this week, yet it was uh, my son's VD, visitation day. But through sowing seeds, the seeds yeah. that Pastor has been telling us to sow. Even if, I've, even if I've been just watching on channel 44, at least the sentence send mobile money. I would at least send mobile money. Because I also decided that today this Sunday I'm going to be baptized. Because I decided to be baptized today on a Sunday, I said, let me go to church and pray and then the Lord will take care of the rest. So I decided to cancel the VD, but again, I still had faith. So today as I was in this place, I was waiting for the early morning service to end. So that I come in for the second service. And as I was still there, someone sent me, sent me money and immediately I sent it to my son's school. And then I said, I'm not going to go anywhere, I must testify. I also gave a tithe, I'm going to give my tithe. I give the glory and honor back to Jesus. Well, let's clap our hands to Jesus. Praise the Lord, brethren. Amanya Ambrose Mujuni. Those are my names, Ambrose Mujuni. I'm from South, from Rukungiri district. Uh, 
I want to thank the Holy Ghost who reigns in this place. The Holy Ghost has been convicting me because there is some stuff I did in 1996. I didn't know that it was a sin. I've been saved for 10 years. But I knew that I was saved indeed. But the Holy Ghost has been convicting me and guiding me that I must repent before God and also before my brothers. This congregation. Who killed thousands and thousands of his followers. But God helped me out. God helped me to survive me and my five children. But the Holy Ghost has been convicting me that concerning those people who died in Kanungu district, that their blood is on my head. But then I kept on saying, but it wasn't me who killed them, it was Chibwetele who killed them. But he told me that you used to be part of that cult preaching for that cult. People were converted, people went there, and they were killed. So the Holy Ghost gave me three reasons, and the first reason was First, I preached to my elder sister who was married with children. She was also killed in that massacre together with her six children. The Holy Ghost also gave me a second reason that there was another lady who had decided to leave that cult in 2000. Sorry, in 1998. So when that lady talked to me about it, then I cancelled her with that. I cancelled her with that cunning wisdom that they had taught us. She quit leaving that cow. She stayed there and she was also killed with her children. Then again, the Holy Ghost reminded me that I was part of those preachers, that you waited the preachers who are preaching the false gospel. We went to different parts of that site preaching that false gospel and people are joining the cult. Now the Holy Ghost told me, convicted me that those people would still be alive today and they would have gotten saved. Because the Bible tells us that the Lord does not delight in the death of the evil ones. Now I want to repent before God for all those people who are massacred because I went astray the word of God and I began preaching a false gospel. Chiwetele came with that gospel that the world was going to come to an end in 2000. They had printed out their own book that we no longer read the Bible. So because of those words that they used to teach us, that they taught us, and we were convinced. We also went and began preaching those same words, that false gospel that we had been convinced with, and people are joining the count. Now time came whereby they used to force us to sell all our belongings, all our property, because we never had the word of God in us that 
Chibwetele used to tell us. Ataba antubuna abakatuli chibagala yimi ubi bichila mariyo kusinga walabu na. He used to tell us about Ave Maria because he was a Catholic and all the Catholics love Ave Maria more than any other thing. So Chibwetele used to tell us that he sleeps in heaven, stays in heaven where God is. Sorry? Maria Masula Muguru Katonda Wasula. So Chiwetele told us that Ave Maria stays in heaven where God is. So Nagamanti, Zizena message Gamanti, and Segenda Kuwao, now he, again he came with that message that said that the world is coming to an end in 2000. But remember, the Bible says that no one knows that they know the hour. So all that was for, it was all the false gospel. But we went on preaching to so many people, we convinced them and they were converted. So he killed the first bunch of people and he put them in a mass grave limbo and then he burnt the rest of the congregation but I want to thank God because the Holy Ghost guided me he led me and I came out of the cult I also didn't know that the massacre would be the next thing they had stopped us from going to the hospitals but when my child fell sick the Holy Ghost told me to take my child to the hospital when I reached the hospital then the Holy Ghost told me not to go back and now after a while while I was in the hospital then that massacre took place so, now I've come to repent before God because those people would have been alive today they would have repented they would have gotten saved but now they no longer have a chance to repent so repent so the false Today, Father God, I come before you as your child. I pray that you may have mercy upon me, that you may forgive me. Wash me with the precious blood of Jesus. Because that is the reason why he went to Calvary on the cross. He was seeking for me. Although I did it innocently, but I know it was wrong. The Holy Ghost now has led me into repentance. Now I pray that you may have mercy upon me. That I may be your son again. That I may be your servant so that I may preach the true gospel. Now, Lord, I pray that as you're so merciful, I know that there are so many others who are deceived by the devil and they do things innocently without their knowledge because I also serve the devil without my knowing. I also pray that those people who are still serving the Lord without knowing, serving the devil without knowing, that you may redeem them out. I know that you are the God who is slow to anger and you easily and quickly forgive. I have firm today and I do confirm that you have forgiven me. Now I'm now your child. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, brethren. Those are my names. I'm a farmer. Um, I also raise animals. At the same time, I do teach. I'm an agriculture teacher. Greetings, Professor Ian Sabit. 
streamlining professionalism in agriculture in Uganda. I bring you greetings from our president. The patron is His Excellency, the president of this country, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. Um, there is a pastor in this place who taught me sometime back while I was in Makere. He used to preach to us wanting us to get saved. But at that time, I was the head of that group, that agricultural group. I never gave him attention. But when I found him in this place, after getting saved, I got saved in the first. Uh, in this place, Francis. he's called Professor Francis Ogwan. I got excited when I met him in this place. I also thank God because the pastor has been prophesying that we are going to be heads and So to all the youths that are doing farming in the country, 35 years and below, they came together and put up um, an organization that is so I've been doing administration and finance in that same organization, organization but now I was promoted to being the Another thing, we were given an office by USAID for a full year. Mm. So I also thank God for that because those are, that Even is more than four million. Weeks, weeks but all these things have happened in the last two weeks. There is another thing that I cannot speak while standing up. I want to thank Pastor Kayanja. I know that he doesn't even know what he has done for us, we as farmers in the country. Because from the start of the 77 days, he has been giving us scriptures that do concern farming and he has been encouraging us to do farming, to raise animals, yes. the rear cattle. Raisers. In this country where I did my agricultural study from, Mother my parents failures. loved whatever I was doing, what I studied, but other people were against it because they used to look at it as being a failure. That farming is supposed to be done by uneducated people. Recently, I have friends of mine, I started with one is a medical officer, another one is a lawyer. They have learned, but they don't even know what to do. So they came to me for advice, they to help me out. Now remember, these are people a medical officer and a lawyer. They were now looking for me who did farming so that I can advise them on what to do. Now I want to thank Pastor Kayanja for what he's doing, uplifting the farmers in the country. I would like all the farmers to give yourselves a hand clap. Thank you, thank you, Pastor. Like I've told you, I teach people how to do farming. We've been going through the different issues that we've been having as farmers, how we've been undermined in this organization of the youth farmers. Yesterday, but one, we had agricultural students from Holland. And Pastor asked the GDP of Poland, Mfuna Yebien Simbie, Poland. 853.9. Billion US dollars. They are 17 millions. Their capital income ya we buli mwa kapa 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 Atenga buli muntu bwacho bwafuna omwaka. Ekintu ekyo kyannumye nnyo 
it was very hurting for so, me. Tuli, tuli on Gachoka on average, Muna Uganda Funa, dollars, Rusanfu, Omaka. Can you imagine? Because for us, we are more than the one uh, I know that most of you don't know that it is the Ugandans who have the best weather, the best kind of soil, and the youths are complaining that they do not have jobs. If you've decided to do farming on 200 acres of land, Maize farming. You can harvest 500 million after investing just 150. That is a profit of over 300. Where I come from, the youths use smartphones. The ones that Pastor always gives out to the youth. Now we use them to put on the information that we get from Makere University and from other agriculture organizations. After breaking it down, population you are facing, that you are so much. after breaking it down, like you know that most, the biggest percentage of our population is semi-literate, so we break it down so that, so that our farmers, training. the trained farmers we are having now, can easily understand it. Now we are very blessed that even the population of the youth have these smartphones that they can use as their computers. I also thank God because of the pastor who has a bucket project, AfriAid. I watched the AfriAid project whereby he was sending off food to Southern Sudan, sent his income away to 2.5 billion dollars. Now, we would like to join together, we as the youth that are doing farming, so that the Ministry of Agriculture and the entire country can benefit from us. This is how I'm concluding. I've told you that I've just gotten saved first. On first. And outside there, people always tell us that Pastor is... That we come to the wrong church. Because he usually says Holy Ghost and not the Holy Spirit. Fire. And, and but I always tell them, and as the, if they are watching me, this is what I tell them. I came to this place and I was delivered. I was even outside, not in the church. I fell somewhere. There people thought maybe I was mad. But I was just falling. Pastor has never seen me. He never even touched me, but I was delivered as he was praying. I have a child of mine, baby girl who is three years, and between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m., from the time that child was born, that child would always get convulsions at that time of the night. And it was like demons would come and take her at night. But when I came to this place, she was completely healed. She no longer receives those convulsions. Now I'm here and I'm constantly receiving promotions that Pastor Kanya doesn't know me. He has never even touched me. When I come and meet you guys here, I know I don't come to meet the pastor because pastor says that it is not him, it is always the Holy Ghost. Now you people who are seated over there, just believe the God that you're worshipping. Some, some, so many people are trying to speak they just try they are just trying to put you off track if you know that you are worshiping the true god just continue go ahead and worship because miracles are real pastor kayanja wherever you are you've lifted up we a great army raising up we are the army that is the the i also want to thank god for my father kapere the comedian. Uh, He's one of the uh, couples who are going to be joined in holy matrimony. So he chose me as one of the people on his organizing committee. Actually, He's going to introduce on 29th this very Yesterday he sold a seat for that. 
also want to thank God and thank you for giving us if pastor was around, we would request that he allows us to have our meetings in this place. I'm a student in the Bible College, and Kapele is also a student in the Bible College, so we are requesting for a permission to hold his wedding meetings in this very place. Praise the Lord, brethren. Praise the Lord, brethren. Those are my names. I thank God for all my friends who are in this place. Because wherever we come to this place, we receive so many things. Let me start by testifying. And one day I came out of I came Nkuba, from this place, went back home. It was raining heavily. But after I had arrived home, and I myself, then I had a stampede on my door. And maybe the thing was coming and he was following me. And he just wanted to finish me. Finish me. But like you know that when we come in this place, we are filled with the Holy Ghost who is always in the side of us. The police also came following that very thief. They got him and they hit him from that very place at my place. And the following day, the police officer came to my place and then said, this thief had come following you and he just wanted to finish you. And then he was going to tell me, that is how you were going to die. That is my testimony. I'm standing before you. I'm standing before you on the preparations of me introducing my wife. Let me hope that you are not going to abandon me this time round. We are going to go together to my wife's place. I got the money I had, told my wife to pack her things, go back to her place. But tell her parents that we are coming, that we are preparing, we are coming so that gentleman who has been speaking before me He's the one who is handling the preparations. So whoever can come and be part of it, we are just seated over there. You can come and be sure. I thank you for listening to me because 
God. But I was also created by God. Although I'm different, I'm of a different kind. One of a kind. I thank Pastor Kanja who got me from the damp stand. I also thank my friend Eddie Chigere whom I called and he told me Kapere come from wherever you are come to church. Come and get saved. When you get saved you see a mega change. It's not just boasting you can visibly see the change. You can see that transformation I used to put on rags I yeah. now dress gently. I now dress up in suits. I love you. I love you. I love you. Kayanja, I love you. I love you. I love you. Very, 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 very happy. I'm so happy in my life. Who am I God that you brought me to this place? I know that God is going to change my entire life and I will be real. And I will also dine up with the princess. And I know that I will also be a princess. I will be a prince. Thank Thank you. you. As Pastor is praying, whoever is watching from the television, as Pastor is praying, please touch your television. Then you will see a miracle that is going to come to your life. If you ask your name, your blind, whatever you had, you had failed to you. God is going to set you free, deliver in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. Let me also thank my fans who are in the choir. Like, and also the instrument plus the ashes plus the security team that works on our security team and even those ones who are outside let me also thank my friend who waves the Israel flag plus the cameramen who make us famous around the world you are also fantastic by the end of this year, we shall be fantastic. Thank you very much for listening to me. Whoever wants to come to me, talk to me. I'm just seated over there. Amen. Now, for the interest of time, I uh, just uh, tell us your name. And what God has done. Uh, the land is still long. But he has many testimonies possible. Thank you. Praise the Lord, brethren. I thank God from the time I came to this place that the Holy Ghost is present and I also thank God for Pastor Kayanja. And I also thank him for obeying the Holy Spirit because I've seen miracles that I've, I'd never seen in my life. I thank God for this child of mine who has been sick for seven years. He had lost his mind. Had been in so many churches. But I never received my deliverance. And wherever I could take him to the different churches, he would run away from the church. But I thank God for from the time I came to this place, he had never run out of this church. He just she just walks around and then she comes back. We've yeah. over typhoid. She got typhoid. And then after Typhoid, it was like the sickness wanted to come back. After typhoid, the other mental illness wanted to come back. And then we came back on a Friday. On Friday, she defecated where we 
seat and she messed up everyone. But then I said, God, I don't want to see what I've been seeing. Now I want to thank God because now I know that she's delivered because she has taken herself to the least which she couldn't do before. I want to thank God because God has delivered her. That mental illness comes through red spirits. I want to be prayed for so that they don't come back. She was about to sit for her form So six. for seven years, she hasn't sat yeah, for her But I want to thank God for from the time we arrived in this place. I know Pastor hasn't touched her yet. But I know she has now been delivered. I know next time I will come back and give my testimony in detail. Amen, amen. We amen. came from Bogere. We thank God for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those are my names. I came from Barara. I used to eat from the dump stand for seven years on Barara Street. But if you're in this place and you've never eaten from the dump stand, give the Lord a big hand. Give the Lord a big hand. Give the Lord a big hand. As I th I'm thanking the Lord, I thank Him truthfully. As I I because the Lord has gotten no from my heart. Even the very t shirt I'm putting on, it is God. It is not by my own effort. It is not by my own effort, it is God. 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 As I was still there on the street, the whites came cold. They wanted seven children. Then as you reach to where they are, they took the other dentists, shut out the children. And they gave me this shirt. And they gave me this shirt. And they gave me this shirt. But God has done a miracle for me that that white man can give me one point. Pays for a garage where I go to study. Mechanics have now finished studying mechanics. Now I want to thank God. Because now we watch Channel 44 at home. And as we watch Channel 44, I feel an impartation of power. One day as I was going to church, I was one day as I was going to church, I told God, I'm going to church, but I would also like to dress up smartly. The moment I entered church, they sent me $70 from California, USA. I bought a shirt and a trousers. Then I go to yes, the bus, Jane. and that is how Jane I came to this place. I came to this place with just thirty thousand. I came to this place with just thirty thousand. But I came when I was in great pain. I came to this place with just thirty thousand. As I could eat, I couldn't swallow because of the pain. But when I came to this place, they said, have faith. They said, have faith. Touch wherever you feel the pain, and then you'll be healed. Now uh, I got healed. I'm now healthy. I'm no more. I give God the glory for I also brought this seed and I said, let me give this to God for the good things he has done for me. Because he has brought me from afar. Thank you very much. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God today because he has enabled me to come to this place and on this very pulpit. I want to thank God and the Holy Ghost. Because I came from Barara 
Because I got delivered from a basket. I came from the stairs and fell. My backbone was disintegrated. I just twisted myself into my back to its position, but still I remained with pain. But a few days back, in the last week, Pastor said, I don't know what to do. But I want to come out and the Holy Ghost because now the pain found In the first phase of it was about four days to the end. I had a debt of 480,000. I never had a job. I never knew where to get the money from because it was for money lender. But I went to thank God. I prayed and fasted. And I didn't know how the money was paid. They just called me and told me that the money was paid off. Now I glorify the God who cancels the debts. I'm not going to say that. Have come from Kawaja. That's why I did. I used to live in this city. Came for work and said, things didn't go well, but I thank God for that testimony. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for last year in December. My husband was conned and they took 14 million from him. We were going to close our house. Why we never had money. I only have twenty thousand on me, but I came and sold it. And on that very evening, when I saw the money, God gave us two million shillings, and we were able to celebrate the Christmas. We've always been coming to this place for prayers. Last week, now my husband was watching Channel Forty Four, which I went to. And he sold a seed of a hundred thousand through mobile money. But we will now thank the Lord that the Lord refunded our money, the one that they took through calling. The fourteen million, and now we were able to finish our house. Another thing I thank God for my friend who is in the U.S. This week he earned a dollar, baby. This week he sent me $200. But because the devil has been following us, Praise the Lord. Confronted them, they were able to refund the one dollar. Now we want to thank God because we brought a seed of fifty dollars so that the Lord can do more in our lives. I'm requesting that we stand up on our feet and give the Holy Ghost a big hand for all the testimonies that we have. The Bible says that they overcame me by the word of their testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we welcome the worship team. Come on, clap your hands to Jesus. He's worthy of the glory. Come on, clap your hands to the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. We worship you here tonight. Water your time. Because there's no one else. 
praise our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. Hey, say. Lift your hands and let's welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. Welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. Come on somebody, welcome the Holy Spirit in this place. You are welcome. If you are coming for a miracle, welcome the Holy Spirit. If you need deliverance, welcome the Holy Spirit. Come on, 
If you are ready for transformation, welcome the Holy Spirit. Ghost is here. The Holy Ghost is here. This is your house. Father, come. Andrew, raise your voices, please. This is your house. A holy house of prayer. Where the lost and the lonely bring the burden. And the prayers. This is raise your voices, every saint. This is your house. Holy Spirit, overflow this place. Grace and mercy, healing and redemption. Lord, have your way. We have This is your house. Spirit, come and dwell. And their prayers. This is your house. This is your house. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus, is worthy of praise. This is like no other night you have ever been into. We want to welcome all of you to 77 dogs of glory. 77 days of glory. That phase, the eighth week. The week of new beginning. Thank God for His grace and His mercy. This week you're going to experience the love of God, the grace of God, and the mercies of God. We will anoint you with oil at the end of it all. We believe that God will touch you, minister to you, He will prosper you, and He will take you to another level. But before we do that, we shall relieve people of witchcraft. You have had the testimonies, and um, we'll pray for you, and for the sick. You hear the word of God, and we'll give. Now we're going to give our evening offering to the Lord. We come with thanksfulness. But God is doing a great work in our hearts. So all of you have got your seeds with you. Your evening offering. Let's bring it before the Lord. There is a basket behind you in front of you. Those of you seated here in the front. Just bring your seed and put it over here. I believe we'll be blessed. Amen. After the end of this week, this coming week is our Easter. We can Easter. And uh, so, Good Friday. Good Friday. It's going to be a great overnight. We're going to be outside. We have wonderful singers. We have wonderful worshipers. We have visiting guests. And we're going to have a great, great moment. And then, of course, we. We renew our covenants all the time. Uh, those of you in the overflow, you are welcome. Uh, we'll try to squeeze in and give everybody a seat at least. I believe the Lord is going to do a tremendous, tremendous work. Don't change the sound. You keep on changing it, leveling it. So I believe God is going to do a tremendous, tremendous work. Amen. 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 I have three books to give to you. you know what I was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Easter Monday. Easter Monday, Easter Monday is like you've never seen anything. We'll begin in the early afternoon. And we will go 
will go into the night on Easter Monday. Easter Monday. But we have all our singers here. Oh, the guys, guys, God has, called, has changed. Uh, the visiting ones. And we're going to worship God for resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are just going to love God. We are going to bless the Lord. And we are going to just be in His presence. But on Easter we have um, one service. We will have one service. And uh, after that we are going to feed those who cannot afford this party. And in the evening we will be back. We have a wonderful, wonderful movie um, the Passion of Christ, and um, and and you will be able to enjoy. After you eat your meals, you come inside the church. And then in the evening, we go back and we worship God. In Jesus' name, He came. He was born. Never created but was born. He grew up. Lived among us. And. He ministered. He was crucified. He died. He was buried. On the third day, he rose again. And he's alive forevermore. What a testimony. What a savior. What a redeemer. In Jesus' name. This is Sunday. Even those of you who brought your tithe given in, you're not here in the morning, just give your tithe in, just give your offering in this offering, in Jesus' mighty name, the seats for the books, we will wait, and um, we will see what the Lord is going to do, and what he has in store for us, amen, the Lord is good, and he loves us, in Jesus' mighty name, Somebody clap your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Give Him praise. Hallelujah. 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 Something wonderful is happening. Um, Pastor Jessica, she's still overseas, but she'll be with us on Good Friday. I've been always used to her ministry every Friday and Sunday and so we miss her dearly but um, she'll be back in Jesus name on Friday she'll be with us God is a good God we have some guests and um, and uh, what I will do is just uh, usually you, you come over here if you don't take much time, then I will be able to, to, you come and greet the people. Just 10 seconds. So if I call your name, you come quickly, please. We have Pastor Eli Kutesa Chironde, Kingdom Love Ministries, UK. Evangelist Kolawole Michael, Lagos, Nigeria. Vicky Kamanzi, United Kingdom Kamanzi, Online Church UK. Joy Mwanguzi, London Online Church These Online Church people, come on, clap your hands for them better Alex Ahabwa, Kaizen Investment Group Alex, Alex Ahawa from uh, Kaizen Investment Group. Investment Emmanuel Group. Jean Nkurunziza and Rose Kennedy from Ingham, Massachusetts. Uh, Serum Kuma Henry, Dubai, online church. Dubai. Reverend Motaki, Danny, of course, he's been here with us before. We know that uh, a team from Kigorovia, Hoima. Okay, this is. Um, the people have called, please come up on the stage. In Jesus' mighty name. And, uh, and quickly, please, just greet the people. We are glad you are here. Amen. Amen. Praise God, church. My name, I'm called, I'm called Vicky Kamanzi. I'm from UK. And the reason I'm here, 
I came because my mom is not well, and she's in here. I was called, but I was watching on online church, and I'm a member of Kingdom Family from Periscope. Amen. And I was called, my mom is not well, she cannot walk, she cannot sit, and this is a lady whom I last saw in August when she was all well. I've been in hospital Barara with her, and they had done all the tests, everything is clear, but I don't know what is her happening with my mother. Well, you brought her in the right place. Yes. And we believe God is going to touch her. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes. I think Reverend Mutaki can see it. Because we, Reverend, you're so been with with you before. Before. Yeah, you may be seated. Yes. Yes. Praise God, church. Praise God! Hallelujah! My name Emmanuel Jean Kurunziza. I lived in the USA for more than 20 years. I'm back in my country, Uganda. I am a father and a grandfather. I want to tell you the number, but it is a good number. I praise God for that offer. Uh, here I only have my daughter and her husband who persuaded me to be with you tonight. But the truth is, I have to say it, I long to meet Pastor Robert Kayang in my life. It is that. Today was a great day for our kingdom of Uganda because our Kawaka is trying to help people with the sickle cells. But today also is my great day thanking my Kawaka but thanking my pastor I longed to see. I left him when he's much, much younger. Now he's a great man and uh, God is using you. I thank you very much. Amen. You are welcome. We are also glad to see you. Uh, Thank you for coming to see I us. I know at my age, I won't tell you, but I'm a young man. Amen. So I praise God who healed me before I went to United States. I just happened to receive the Holy Spirit and changed my life. I I am here because of Jesus Christ Amen. who brought me up. Amen. And uh, I will give you more testimony as long as I live with you here. Amen. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. We are glad to see you. Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Those are my names. I'm coming from London. I thank God I used to be a bleak, but now I dance for Jesus. If you are still there believing in Allah, you are missing out on a lot. I praise God for that. I thank God that I'm here today. I landed last night and I was, able, I was supposed to be here yesterday. Some strange illness came upon me. But I thank God that I've been able to come today. I thank God for the pastor and his wife. And the way the Lord is using them to do what they are doing. Because in London we don't go to sleep until you are done. Even when the program is over. We think it's not yet over. 
And God has done mighty things. So we thank Him for that. Amen. I'm sending my greetings to Jamila. Noel. And grace. They requested for Holy Ghost books. Like seven of them. I brought my girl you power know? seed right here. Mm. Praise God for that. Praise God, church. My name is Natural Precious Roy. Girl power. I'm here to give in my daddy's seed. Okay. My dad is Seldon Kuma Henry. He stays in Dubai. Dad has given me this seed because he wants God to deliver me and he wants God to bring him back home. I'm 21 years, but dad has spent 15 years without coming back home. Dad is sowing this seed so that God heals me. I have a problem. Um, in, in 2014, they wanted to operate my head, but I, I grew up saving, serving the Lord. So, in the process, I told God they will not operate me because I know you. They did not operate me, but the problem is back again. I wasn't in position to come today, but dad asked me, have you planted my seed. Then I was like, let me go to church and I plant the seed. So I'm here to plant daddy's seed pastor and to take my deliverance. Amen. Come on, come on. Bring the mic. Amen. Yeah, she may be seated. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Eli. And I'm a pastor of a church called Kingdom Love Christian Center. That is based in London, United Kingdom. I'm here to give a testimony and give thanks to our papa here, Pastor Robert. The testimony is simple. I pastor and I lead an organization called National Bible Teachers Convention that awards great fathers in our land, Uganda, here. And last year we awarded our pastor, Robert Kayanja. And those same people that joined together as Ugandans from the diaspora are the ones that have sent me to come and appreciate you once again, our papa. Thank you. I take this serious because I represent a number of them and I'm going to request us to do something that probably I've not seen since phase one of 77 and that is raising our hands, both those people under this roof, the people from the TV 44, the people from Facebook that are watching from all around the world to stretch our hands and bless our papa the reason is simple especially in our country here we are fond of appreciating people when they are gone when they are still around all we need to is get what they have go show off because we know them and at times we forget that the same men need our prayers Amen. and then i will sow my seed our seed and i will leave this place papa allow us Red. i've been allowed so i will request everyone in the house with due respect <laughs> to stand up on your feet <laughs> Amen. As drivers, we make U-turns when you realize you are not going towards the right direction. This is what we believe as ministers and members from the diaspora that you have obeyed God to lead and you have accepted to be used as a host to make a U-turn 
Okola U-turn. And to lead all of us as Ugandans to follow the direction of the Holy Spirit. Yes. That is why I want all of us to stretch our hands now. Two minutes. I'm not taking long. Where he is, let us declare a blessing. As for me, I will declare a blessing that is in the book of Numbers, chapter 6. Verse number 22. God told Moses to go and tell Aaron and his children, the priests, that every time the children of God gather together, he should declare this blessing. And as I declare this big blessing, I want you to declare a big amen. Lift up your hands and declare a blessing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for our Papa. We thank you for him being so humble. We thank you for him allowing you to use him. Now, regardless of what has been done in the spiritual realm, as children of this land, we declare a blessing. And as I say it, say a big amen. And now may the Lord bless you. Amen. And may the Lord keep you. Amen. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. Amen. May the Lord be gracious unto you and your family. Amen. And may the Lord give you a U turn in Jesus' name. Amen. And someone say, Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come, I was with Kanisa. Praise the Lord. Never some come up at Tondo Rakongas Konako. Thank God for this evening. Never some come on Katon Rai Channel 44. Thank God for Channel 44. Uh, on Thursday, Nalim Vaku Church. I was returning from church on Thursday. Natuke Waka. When I arrived home. Nentuninga on Channel 44. I tuned on Channel 44. Nasango Musumba and Gayogeda Kuchigambe Chokuayo. I found Pastor talking about giving. Yogeda Kuchigambe Charlie Muluka, Isola Yomukaga. And those are needed was at Momonana. He was talking about Luke 638. Nagamba, give. It shall be given back to you in good measure, pressed down, flowing over, and then men shall bring riches into you. Also. That word touched me so much. God has enabled me to bring my seed this evening with my family. Bring your family. Uh, Moses, hurry up. Moses, hurry up. Young Wako. Musumba, and it's good to do this for publishing. We see this for publishing the book of the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Is that how much you can be? If you have received a copy, if you have ever received a free copy of the book on the Holy Spirit standard. And after reading it, what did you do with it? You sold it. You are keeping it. You have to give it to someone else. Okay, stay standing. Go ahead. We need the Holy Spirit to visit our family. There are still people religious in our family. God helped us and saved us. We serve God. God revealed that our grandparents used to sacrifice to other gods. The Holy Ghost said, You better give something as a seed. Some people are saying, You need to sacrifice to the living God and exceed your grandparents. 
we brought the seed that you received this my elder brother representing our family amen father in the name of Jesus you will do incredible things incredible things incredible things where else will come to you than you have never known cows will come to you than you have ever known land will come to you than you have ever known houses and buildings and above all health pick them up pick them up pick them up bring them together I don't know why you are here. I know you came to sow a seed. But I see a liver disease. It seems many people in your family have died of that disease. It starts with the with liver and then it spreads. People call it cancer. But it has hit several people. Our brother died of stroke. There is a there is a, a lady as brown as he is. And um, she died of complications in the stomach. I know that you, you know her. I don't know what time she what area she died. But um, that, 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 that thing will not affect you. It's not part of your inheritance. It's not part of your inheritance. We rebuke the spirit of drinking to leave the rest of the family. Father, we just release favor, miracles, and increase. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Well, the seed you've sown is it reveals that God is gonna bless your work. The numbers I look at now. Because it has six, it has eight, it has two, it has three, it has one and zero zero. Those numbers in the Hebrew means a lot. Number one, it reveals work. It reveals a new beginning. It reveals two, and you are two here. Which means the double anointing. Of two here. And three, it means that the hand of God is involved. God Almighty, and God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, with both of you to release a new beginning of your company that will provide work for the rest of the family. Because in Hebrew, we read from the right to the left. So when you see the two zeros, it's like they've been a space, uh, the two things that you, you were wondering whether we should invest in this one or that one. You know, there are certain things that, that are there. But the Lord said, here is one. God is going to do great things. He himself, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, is releasing two of you in double anointing for a new beginning in everything you do. And, uh, and it will be such a marvelous work. Thank you so much. They have planted a seed of 6,823,104 books. We Alex Ahabwa and his family, Moses Nkurunziza and family, Betty Havuga, Betty Havuga. Anarin, Muaner and family, Kiringira, Emma, 
Joyce Mumia. There is another one. There are six of you. My goodness. There is another one. Seven. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. You don't know what you're doing. You're reaching out hundreds of people. Yes, again. Thousands will read that book. And that seed will speak on your behalf. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. So you guys are from Chigorovia. Masindi. Masindi. Oima. Oima. Oima district. Okay. Let me pray for you. That the Lord will do such a great work. That is your seed. Okay, you'll put it over there. In Jesus' name. So how is Chigorovia? I was in uh, Oima. Oima. Preached the gospel there in 1983. Some of you were uh, uh, Chigorovia. 1983. Wow, were you born by 83? Wow. You're not yet born. Yeah, I remember she was, she was there. You are not born. Were you born? 83. What about this one? Wow. It's good to see you. What brought you here? We've come to seek for revival upon that land because we are so much moved by the revival that is taking place at this ground. We've come to tap the anointing. Wow. Join your hands together. Heavenly Father, bless your people. They've come all the way from Hoima. Hungry for God. I bless your name. I bless your name. For them, increase them, multiply them, and add to them in Jesus' name. Listen, I don't know what we have there in the store. But at least each one of you will get something from that store. At least one thing. In Jesus' name. And tell the people of Hoima that revival is coming. It has already come. The visitation of God is here. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen. I'm going to ask the. Uh, I'm going to ask, I don't know. Show them the store. Yeah, I think they will use the ground, the carpet ground. Can you level that carpet straight? There is a carpet here, yo. The Lord has, has, uh, the Lord is touching the world. The Lord is touching you, uh, the world. I told you all eyes are on Uganda. Uganda. This afternoon, there is another Ugandan who has won a marathon, marathon in 21 kilometers in China. in China. Come on, somebody, all eyes on Uganda. Get up and praise God. Every time, it is just amazing. It's just amazing that it's not even a week before we had the celebration. Now a Ugandan has done it again. Prophecy is coming to pass. Every two weeks. Yours is coming. 31st December. Everybody will wonder where you got the money. His name is Samu Gerede. What's Get me his full name. He has just won in, uh, in, in one minute and something. 
no but ticket ticket but and um, and and it is it is all over the news it's, Bili, Bili it's exciting chewonyisa the ugandan has won na uganda yawangu day why don't you clap your hands to jesus mira yesu mongale zamani his name is john katerega ye john katerega he has just won yawangu day somebody clap to me on Uganda maso gona gali ku Uganda all eyes on Uganda maso gona gali ku Uganda i said all eyes on Uganda maso gona gali ku Uganda i said all eyes on Uganda maso gona gali ku Uganda the lord said it last year kama chokere mwaka kwede we are seeing it taking place tuchilama nga chibao come on somebody clap your hands to jesus ya yesu ngale it's not even a year no matter kuna wakwera because it was may May 18th. When the Lord spoke. And he said. That all eyes will be on Uganda. It's not even May. And all eyes are on Uganda. With, with 77 dogs. Marasata rabababa. And with the victories no and with now. the miracles you too you're going to make news in Jesus name no, in your family. Family. so God be the glory hallelujah 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 so we thank God we thank God I know when he comes we will, he's in China now when he comes we will We'll bring him or we'll bring him here. And bless him. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your children are going to make history. I say your children are going to make history. Your business is going to make history. Your company is going to make history. Oh hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, Now Sister standing I'm going to teach you something. Sigalango yimiride nache njalo kuigiriza. When Todd Delaney was here, Todd Delaney yali wano. It was all over the news. Yali maulire gonna. It it boosted our numbers. Numbers of Fenese ongira. Because everybody was following him. 2.5 million people were following him. Yali nabantu mira tu weekend. Abali bamugura weekend yeye. And it added on our 30 something 40 something. Abantu watu yongira kawe ya over 46 point something. Abantu wasuka. Million people who are watching right now. Million isuka mwana mukaga. The seven the seven dogs. Bala bansa ansa musa. Around the world. Monsieur na on television, on TV, on Facebook, on Facebook, YouTube, YouTube. On, uh, on Twitter, I mean Twitter. E everywhere. Buli one they're two. following. But to go there. Now, there is another great musician. Olwo muyimbyo wa manyo mulala. Detrick. Detrick. Um is one of the most powerful musician. Yo mukuba yimbyo basinga kuba ba manyi. And uh, he saw what was taking place. Yela ba chachi gira maso. He said I've never seen anything like this. Nakati masichira banga ko. When when Todd reduced the song reduced the song Todd we are to read it was nowhere Seven to seven dogs pushed it to nomination name so rimba lwe the Emmy award was it Emmy a uh, Grammy award ne balwim ne balubera mu and he was nominated ne ba nominate so he said can 77 dogs nagan samu musa and we he, so he has written a song kati ya wandi so rimba about god kokatonda i think it's the most powerful song so it's not going to apart from uh, The songs we've had here especially as victory belong to Jesus that, 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 is, that is in itself like to tend it is that that's in, in a range of itself but this one is a powerful song we are translating it in luganda and other languages and swahili so that people can learn and sing about it and so we are filming to filming a video video that is going to be attached to this song and it's going to be released around the world All eyes are on Uganda. Again, he would have gone to Kenya, Nigeria, Nigeria Ghana, Ghana, anywhere. I want to know black people who are better singers. In fact, recently there was a world artist who uh, who said because there were children from Uganda, and they were from a certain orphanage, somewhere. little little orphanage, and they went. Uh, to German I think and Nicholas said it to me Nicholas and they danced and the man said the Ugandan God. children are dancing better than Chris Brown and I said this, this is 
and in this season now whatever you do will take you to the top so don't do the bad thing because you go to the top in the bad thing do the right thing so, the, 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 so the, the, he asked our youth because he saw the Saturday youth we call them the Mads company, company. Mads company. company. Our, we want our young people to be mad. Mad for Jesus. Because they call them mad. Mads company. company Mads. Mads company represents M. Misach. A. Abednego. Abednego. D. Daniel. D. Daniel. S. Sadra. Sadra. We want our youth in Uganda, Uganda to be like those four Hebrew youths who took over Babylon Babylonia. and shook it with a power. Now, this is what we're going to do before the group, the dancing group comes. I want you to be as crazy as the dance is. Okay. I'm preparing you. I want you to shout. I want you to move. I don't care whether you are 400 pounds or whether you are 365 kilograms. Move that weight. to clap your hands. I want you to shout. I want you to dance. I want you to be happy. I don't want anybody looking like this. Here we don't like religion. We don't like religion here. We want the life of God in Jesus name. Somebody lift up your hand now. I say lift up your hand. Come on raise the sound in the house so that people can hear me very well. Okay. Go back, go back, go back. Okay? So when they come here, we are going to use all that place. So you better take your camera somewhere. Okay, so we are Now listen. And I'm, let me talk to the camera people. Can you get another camera? Brian, you are there. Brian, you are here. Where's Kelvin or Gideon? Kelvin or Gideon, I need another cameraman. Even on that one. Where is, who's, who's handling that? Okay. Get me the best cameraman. I know that you're good, but you're not yet good. You know, you, know, you should know the truth and the truth is you Where is Eddie? Eddie Aliwa. Bring him down. Okay. Who is on the Who is on the jeep? Anyali ko jeep. Huh? Where is Eddie? I saw Eddie there when I was coming in. Mukonga liru dawo. Sumula biyao. Mukonga liwa. So I want Eddie on the jeep. Mukongo gena ko jeep. No, Eddie Owini. Owini. Owini go to it. Owini gena kujib. Okay. Listen. Liriza. All eyes on Uganda. Amaso kona ngali kuyuganda. You cannot look like you. Not you lost your dog. So as the dancers are coming, you give them way, but you clap your hands. Because that clip may make it to the video. And the bodyguard of Bill Gates may marry you. Because you don't like Chinese anymore. America. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy. Send Hallelujah. Me. Hallelujah. So if, if Eddie can go to the jib, what is Habit? Habit Habit Habit. Then so can go and switch. So Who is switching? Anya switching. Eddie is the one switching, right? I need an answer quickly, please. switching. Hmm? Hmm? 
So Saul is on the jeep. Saul has never handled the jeep. Get Eddie on the jeep and let Saul go back and switch. Eddie, oh, did that vaya yo or Jacob jeep? So what is Eddie? I see you. Okay, Saul is gone. Saul Ariwa. Okay. If you go to war, you must know your generals. Don't, don't use a, don't use a weapon you've never used before. That's wisdom to you. If you are going to win a war, take the gun you are used to. Use the generals you know. Amen. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Okay, show me how you are happy. Clap your hands to Jesus and give him praise. Now, thank you very much. We don't clap the hands of Jesus here. No, 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 we clap them up there. Come on, come on. I say clap your hands to Jesus. Others are clapping it here. Everybody, lift your hands. Raise your hands. You people have half must lift hands. That section there. Your hands are half mast or low. You half mast. They don't clap Jesus' hands right here. We lift our hands up there. Now clap your hands right up there. Now shout Jesus. We're gonna yes. Okay, you can put them down. Take one Those of you on television, you can, TV. this video is going to go around the, the world. Video again, again, see you so we are glad you are part of this. In Jesus' name. Don't forget to smile. So when I shout hallelujah, when Pogan, hallelujah, you lift up your hand and you clap your hands, shouting in the name Pogan, Jesus, Yesu, all these dancers are coming in, Bajia, running Bajia Baduka, to set themselves, Opeteka, teka, and they dance. dance yeah, of course, I have to get out of here, you know, because they're using this one as a... And I must go, 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 one. In the name of Jesus. You're right here. Cameras are going to get you. Pastor Arthur. I'm going to get away. You're. You ain't smiling. You ain't dancing. You're looking like yesterday. You're looking like yesterday's bird's nest. Just get out of here. I'll send a mic to your head. You won't like. And I know how to target. So you're better. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jirole. I'm out of here. I'm out of Thank <laughs> you.
Nabagambi Nzenja Gamba Aleluya Wanike Mikono Jo Waguru Okuvile Yesu Yiterinya Lya Yesu Mwabaja mwanguwe kabajyo kuzina muduke muri bavubuka Gweteke mikono jyo waguru kubire Yesu Kristo ngabo iteri nyali Amata arasimanyi Jesus, 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 Jesus.